thirsty. It's a word we've heard a lot about recently. Listen to this definition I found. Thirsty is a graceless need for affection, affirmation, and approval. It's so raw, it creeps people out. Whoa. So thirsty basically is insecure. It's anxiety about yourself. What do people think of me? How am I doing? You're needy, you're insecure, you're looking for that affirmation. That means you're thirsty. We could say, well, I grew up in a home where I didn't get a lot of praise, or people have really hurt me and that's why I'm insecure. When I was in grade six, there was a really cool girl in my class and she came up to me one day and I'm, I remember exactly where it was. I was outside putting my boots away before going into class. And she said to me, you're pretty. I was like, wow. And then she said, pretty ugly. Now that's such a mean thing to say. And I remember it like it was yesterday that she said that to me. So I could say, yeah, and maybe people have had way worse experiences of being hurt or being devalued. But there's good news for us when we know Jesus. So that's the other thing, value is attached to insecurity. Maybe in your life you're like, well, I'm so talented and I just wish people would acknowledge how talented I am. Or maybe you're disappointed that you're not famous and, and you're jealous of people who aren't even talented who are famous. I remember when the Spice Girls were famous and all real musicians were so angry about that. But deep down in our hearts, we're looking for value. We're looking for the things around us, people, fame, different things to make us feel valuable. Well, that can't come from a person. In Matthew 10, 30, it says this, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So God says we're valuable. We're so valuable. He paid, Jesus paid the highest price for us. That's how valuable we are when he died on the cross for us. So how do we fix this thing inside that's so thirsty for affirmation, so thirsty to be known, so thirsty for attention? How do you fix it? Well, let me describe it in another way before I get to the solution. It reminds me of an engine that has an oil leak. I'm gonna read you this little thing, okay? In addition to their environmental impacts, oil leaks can lead to major damage to your vehicle's engine, as well to the radi radiator and HVAC system. Accumulated oil can degrade the rubber hoses, seals used in, the com in these components and cause them to wear out prematurely. I feel like hidden insecurity and hidden fear of man and that thing that we're so thirsty for uh, is like a hidden oil leak. You can't really tell it's there until the vehicle moves away. Ah, and there's oil spilt all over the ground. The other thing that's interesting about this illustration is it wears you out prematurely. It just wears you out. Because when you're insecure and you're fearful, you can also become jealous or really needy and then you want this constant affirmation of people who are around you. And that's stressful for the people that live with you. I remember when I was taking drum lessons and my drum teacher, I took it much, you know, when I was in my 50s and my drum teacher was like, he stopped praising me at my progress. He said to me, you're not five anymore. <laughs> so just like perfect love drives out fear, it also drives out insecurity. And we need to grow up in God so that our value comes from him and not what people are saying about us or thinking about us. So are you thirsty? Maybe you're thirsty and it's creeping people out or it's leaving oil stains on the ground. I have good news for you. Listen to the scriptures. In John 7, it said, Jesus says this in verse 37, if anyone thirsts, if anyone's thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Jesus is the one that takes our thirst away. 
And it says he'll put in us a fountain of living water when we receive the Holy Spirit. So suddenly your life changes. You're a fountain that blesses other people instead of this thirsty thing that takes from other people. So I just bless you and love you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.